Okay. What is going on, everyone? We go out shallow water grouper fishing. We did a sundowner bite. It is flat calm out right now. Make sure to stay tuned for this and you'll see some gag grouper action. So the crew today, it's my friend Dax and he's bleeding some What's fish right on, now. Guys? His roommate Connor Bye. from college. My dad Craig, down there cleaning something. And then me, grouper MVP, Max. So we're gonna be slaying these fish. Dax and hooked a gag on the troll. He's in the Rapala 40s. Fitzgerald, Stunner HD. Shimano to Stella 10K. That looks decent size. He just was foul hooked. He's reeling them in. You can see him back there. Be careful with that plug. That's why he decides to fight now. I know. That's a decent fish. Not bad. It's 27 inches. All right, so we just got to a new spot. Gonna start out with dead sardine. Get the bite chummed up. Just throw in, throw in some chunks. Is this deeper, Craig? Huh? <laughs> Big squirrel going down. Sorry. All right, we're on bottom. Okay. Just got smoked. That should be. Well, that's a good one. Heck yeah. That's a good fish, guys. Go on. Get towards you. I also caught that squirrel fish out here, too. Oh, yeah. A decent gag right here, boys. Big one of the day. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Try to use that bait again. That's oh, a good one. Now that's a gag. What? Yeah, baby. <laughs> These are the fish we're looking for out here today. Nice gag. There we go, Max. <laughs> you good? Huh? I'm good. Max, that was production. And we still got the same bait. And still just swimming around just fine. It's like 30 or close. So we're gonna get this squirrel fish down again. Sit down here, low gear, have my knee. A little bit of a cheater method, but it works. On bottom again. Feeling with my fingers to see if I get bit. Oh, just got smoked again. They might have took the bait. Oh. Could be a keeper. Keeper right here. Mine could be a keeper gag. Thumpage. Thumpington. Let's see him. You never know. You Thumping up. Red gag group of keeper. Max He's a keeper. trying to salvage the trip. Single handed. Oh, you just look at that. Look what you just spit up. Just spit up all the sardines oh. I threw in. So when we first got to the spot, I had a bunch of these dead sardines, broke them up and threw them in. This guy just spit up like four or five. There you go, Connor. There you go. And now the moon is calling a little current, and here come yeah, Miami dolphins. I heard of them. Now we're gonna tail hook this grass crab. There's on a fish. Nice Coming up, GoPro just died. Reel him up, Connor. Go, oh, look at that gag. All right, stop right there. Yeah. All right, lift up. There you go. That's that's a keeper, right? 
Let me grab him. There you go. It's a big gag, Tom. <laughs> There's Connor's gag. There's my gag back there. Hold that one up. All right. Come here. Just watch out for the gills. Ow. Ow. Are you in the wrong spot? Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> There's Connor's gag. <laughs> that is a good one. Good one, Connor. Thank you. Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Listen, here's these two. Maybe he knows the population is in danger. They want this. What is this? Grunt. I'm spinning. Big grunt? A little. On the spinning. Oh man, charge on him. Where is it? Look at him, he's like, oh, I got owned. What shark is that? A big shark? Oh, he's big. Yeah. Could be a bull shark. On the spinning. All right, getting another one on the spinning on down there. Using 65 pound braid, 40 pound leader, light leader. And they're hitting there. School early on. I think it was like right before you told me to hold your finger on it. I kind of just like let it go. Yeah, let's try to get a sunset photo before it gets started. We could get. See, this is. Fishing. This is fun. <laughs> you gotta wait. Sick. Sometimes you gotta wait all day till you get. Well, this is worth. This is worth yeah. it. The key timing. Well, that's why in the keys. That's why I always wait till like. Yeah. Because you can always get a bite like this. We had to work all day to get a bite. It was slow bite, full day. But the sundowner. They finally started to bite. Okay. Sundown, you better do it. I'm on the care. bottom. Seeing if I can't get another gag on the spin of rod. What a goo. <laughs> Get that rod up. Ooh, I got keeper. Cut clean. My first keeper of yeah. the day. Shark, 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 shark. Shark, 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 shark. Shark, 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 shark. No! Did it get it? Yeah. Was it a big gag? No. Big shark, though. That goes to your bag limit now. Jeez, what kind of shark is that? Breeze. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Mr. Guy. He was a keeper. He still is that, Bruno? That's what just happened I to me, there boy. There's a bag up front and a mesh bag, and so is the leader. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. As you saw, it was a really flat, calm day out there. There was barely any wind, no waves. So the bite was really slow. I don't know if that was because of the moon or just maybe the fish weren't chewing that day. But once we got to that major feeding time at sunset, that's when the fish started to chew. It was, that's when they turned on and they actually bit like they should in the shallow water. 
We also went out the other day and it was a pretty slow day all the way till sunset again, but that was because of the full moon. So that video will be out hopefully next week, but make sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button down below as I'm going to be hopefully getting at least two to three more shallow water grouper trips. And then next year we're going to be doing hogfish, snapper. Maybe we'll be doing some more exploration south because they're going to be closing gag. So going to have to explore, hopefully maybe get some black grouper maybe work more for pelagic fish. I don't know, we'll have to change it up since they're closing gags. So hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see y'all next time.